Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. My name is Amir Shahzad and today I am with the Leica Total Station TS09 Plus and I have a complete playlist on this uh, instrument. So before many maybe 32 videos I make on this Total Station, today my topic related to the intersection point. Uh, for example, uh, we are working on the road and we have uh, some uh, tangent lengths but after that we need to know where is that tangent points how we can calculate with the, this total station or uh, in case we have one point uh, two points and their next point uh, bearing are as much so in this case if we know the if we need to know what is the coordinate of that points how we can calculate using this total station i am going to explain all these things in this video for example if we have our two roads for example this road and this is the intersection point mostly what happened somewhere have our tangent points beginning of curve and there is some end of curve we have these points for for example we need to know what is the value of this point in this case you know we always have the some uh, this direction as much and the coordinate of second, uh, two points or even beginning of curve we have a point but we know the azimuth both side then we can calculate this uh, point using like a total station TS09 or second case what happened for example I am doing some work and this work for example I am ending here but somewhere there is a point and I need to know how much far this point or the what is the coordinate of this point so in this case I decide two points anywhere and if I have a, this point coordinates this point coordinate and the azimuth what we call the whole circle bearing if we have this value and this value for example I may create one example in this example I have the this point coordinates this point coordinates and the azimuth of our direction of the this point and the direction of this point which we call azimuth or the whole circle bearing so in this case I need to calculate this point already I calculated uh, this point by the AutoCAD but in this example I am only reconfirm with the total station when I am doing this all activities in total station so let's move to the total station we will see how we can calculate this intersection point in Leica total station TS09 plus so here I have a first display of Leica total station TS09 plus once we power on so for that purpose we have to enter in the program folder so what I will do I in many videos I told there is a numbers one two three four and the program is number two so simply I need to press number two or bring the cursor with these arrows on the program and press ok or otherwise touch on the display and in this way we can enter the program options we have a four tabs survey survey plus ref elevation and road today what I'm going to do I'm going with the Kogo these are available in survey when you first time appear in this page maybe your first appearance is this 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 what you can see on the display uh, you need to go when you need to go to survey plus simply you press the this page button or otherwise you go and touch on the display so in my case you see uh, there is a number five Kogo so I'm press number five key and enter in the Kogo in the Kogo there is a description you can read there simply what I'll do I'm going with the continue F4 so here we have a, again four tabs first was is a inverse and traverse these topics already we covered in the previous videos today I will start with the intersection so I'll change page in the intersection we have a uh, more option first option is this one second is this one third one is distance and fourth one is up and we have a four point in this way how we can get the point intersection point so I'm I'm going with the first option which called bearing bearing only a ticket and the description is writing their intersection point between two point is calculated by using defined bearings okay when we have a two points and the defined bearings in this way we can calculate the intersection point which I explained before on the paper so simply what I will do I'm going with the F4 continue 
and here the instrument asking me the point name so in my case uh, i'll add new points so which i show on the paper so i'll add these two points here with their bearing so in this case uh, you can enter the uh, point name uh, my case i'm uh, doing uh, I'm, uh, maybe i have the same number in this uh, file but i will overwrite or i can use any numbers for example number one or i will put the any number one 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 triple one and then press ok and go with the f4 key to find because this point is not in this uh, file so what i need to do simply press f4 for continue and then again f4 for e and h easting nothing and height i'll press that one i'm giving the value of the first point the first point value first need to put the east uh, east is a a two zero seven five point zero zero two and the nothing value is eight seven three five one point five five three i'll press ok and if you have a, a given by the elevation you can put otherwise because we need only intersection point the coordinates in this case i will leave this height empty so press f4 for continue uh, in my case i just assume i assume this uh, uh, bearing is only 32 degree 3 minute and based on the calculation 0.7 uh, seconds in this total station we cannot use the point so i will use one second so how to write 32 then use this key for the next point and there is a three uh, minute so again three and then the 0.75 mean 0, 0.1 second so i'll press ok and then i'm going for the second point and second point i'll give the again name 112 and press ok because this point is not in my job so simply first i'll check to find so press f2 because there is no point this one so he give me a warning point not found in the job which job name is topo so i'll press f4 and again f4 for enh and i'm going to put the value of this opposite point which are you can see on display so in my case east is a two two zero five point eight four seven i'll press ok for the next point and the north thing is eight seven three three eight point four five seven i'll press ok again and then f4 for continue now i have the second point value where I'm uh, in case I can say this is the tangent points are beginning of curve or end of the curve. So the coordinate I already had. So second, I need the next point bearing. The bearing are here 321 degree, 31 minute, and 14.37. It's been I can say 30, 14 only. So 14 second. I'll press OK. So in this case what i need to do simply i need to press f2 for calculate the intersection point or unknown point which i need to require the calculate so i'll press f2 or if you have a touch screen you can simply touch on the f2 area directly calculate so once i calculate he give me the location uh, coordinates of that point as you can see i already calculate these points in AutoCAD it's matching with that point you can do this experiment with the different points and here is the page 2 here you can see the numbers point numbers and the location of intersection point so if uh, now you have the, this point if you need to stake you can simply go with the F1 key you can uh, stake out this intersection point or if you don't need to stay, you just need to only store this point in your instrument for the next time when to, you need to use. So go with the F3 key. And before you go to store, you need to mention the name of this point. For example, I will give this name. 113 is the continuous series. I'll press F uh, OK key. And then I'll press store. In this case, my intersection point already stored in the total station uh, hopefully you understand this uh, today topic 
and also you enjoy this video if during the explanation you feel something i did not clarify properly you can ask me in the comments i will reply as soon as possible and take care of yourself and the other and bye